Now it's time for day two. So I'm gonna try to breeze through this kind of fast. Um, Saga Volume Three, 12 bucks. I picked it up. Um, yesterday I had the full things of uh, Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters, the complete series, and Extreme Ghostbusters. Today I picked up X Men, the uh, '90s anime series. Um, found a nice little card shop, which I was looking around the. Um, Tired con for I'm looking for the old Marvel animated cards, like the trading cards from the 90s. They I used to collect them all the time in elementary school. But uh, me and my wife stumbled upon one. She actually found this binder, which is the Women of Marvel binder, which was a trading card set. And I bought uh, the Women of Wall. Did I say Walmart before? Yeah, you said, no, you, you said Marvel for the binder. Yeah. But I, they had the Women of Marvel complete set trading cards. Um, there's like 60 of them, and then I bought the Marvel Now set, uh, each set was like, I don't know, the Marvel ones are pretty expensive, the Marvel ones were like, from 10 to like $16, there was one set of $16 I wanted to get, and I didn't get because it was so expensive, but I might go back tomorrow, um, and it, it's really cool because that's what got me into drawing in elementary school, I used to draw these cards all the time, uh, so th that was, this was actually really awesome to get, I enjoyed that, um, I got uh, ma a mana, a uh, mana. I'm fucking tired, guys. It's been a long weekend. Amanda Connor. I had her sign my wife's Harley Quinn's and Silk Spectre number one. And I got a print of her black cat, which is a sign by her on the bottom. Uh, something that was really awesome right here is uh, an original sketch by George Perez. The dude whipped this out in like, what, four minutes? Um, I asked my old lady there's got the video of him drawing it, which I'll put it up on YouTube probably uh, Monday or whenever she stops being lazy and uploads it somewhere. Yeah. Um, but I had him do Batman because he did a Batman for a guy in front of me and it looked really good. Originally I was going to say do Daredevil, but um, I mean, it was pretty cool. You know, just a sketch. It ain't like detailed shit, but whatever. I got a certificate of authenticity, plus I got a picture with him and everything. So it, it's all good. Um... On to the comics. Uh, I found this nice little stand in, uh, on my way out. And uh, they had a bunch of stuff that I, me and my wife spent a lot of money on. Um, I bought Watchmen, the original Watchmen from the 80s. Um, well, that's not Watchmen, but... Um, these Watchmen from the 80s. How many did you say I'm missing out of the whole set? Five? Uh, I don't have one. I have two through six, right? And then 12, 11 or 12. So I'm missing like five out of the set, which I'll go back tomorrow and see if some other stand has them. Uh, then I found another stand that had Wolverine 1 through 5, Savage Wolverine. I really don't care about the series. I'll probably read it. I'll probably go get the codes out and read them. Um, but I wanted to get it because I thought the cover art was really good. Plus it was 20% off the cover price. And then here's the... Big Daddies of the Day. Uh, okay, I'm three minutes in. I'm still good. Um, I got a brand new day Spider-Man. Signed by Tim Townsend. X-Men Regeneration. Regenesis. Whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the One Shot by Tim Townsend. Signed. Got the Certificate of Authenticity. I got Certificate of Authenticity through all of them. Um, it, it, you know, two bucks to get authentic. Or was it authentic? Whatever. Alright. So, it's two bucks. I, we got that. Um, that way, in case, if I ever had to sell it, I can prove that it's been signed. Um, I got Brandon Peterson. All new X-Men. Another all new X-Men by Brandon Peterson. 
another all new X Men. Um, this I'll save these for last. And then I got Uncanny X Men by Townsend, number one, which I had last year. I got this autograph by Townsend, and then I sold it to Andrew um, a few months back because we needed some money. And then I got uh, both variant covers by Greg Land. Um, you know, certified. One variant, one's not. Issue two of the series. Issue three. Issue three variant. Issue four. Issue five. These are all signed by Greg Land. Um, got this done by Amanda Connor. Um, first of Spectre. And then we get to Harley Quinn Zero, Harley Quinn One, signed by Amanda Connor and Jim Palmati. Same thing with two and three. Got my Kevin Smith, Joe Casada, Daredevil, signed by Jim Palmati, which I believe he does the inking in this issue. Then another comic that I sold to Andrew last year that got redone was. Uh, New 52 Superman number one signed by George Perez. I got this when I got the sketch done. Then I got um, Neil Adams, X-Men number 60, Uncanny okay, X-Men number 60. I got that done. Which was funny because you go up to a guy and go, like, hey, can I sign this? He's like, hey, can you give me 20 bucks? I'm like, sure. Not exactly like that, but he's like, it's going to be 20 bucks. I'll be like, all right. And then um, at that comic shop that I got the Watchmen books from, I got some first appearances. Um, I got first appearance of Gambit. Uh, first appearance of Psylocke. First appearance of Miss Marvel. And first appearance of Hope. And it is a J. Scott Campbell cover. No, I did not get a sign because we went over there. What time we went over there? He still wasn't there. Motherfucking con was, opens up at 10 o'clock. It was afternoon. It was like noon, almost 12.30. Motherfucker still wasn't there. The line was lined up like it was yesterday. Oh, I ain't waiting in line for no 500 hours for this one. bitch to do it. So, no. But, um, that's the stuff I got for today. I'm running a little low on money. But tomorrow is the last day of the con, so I'm hoping that a lot of people will, um, be blowing the prices of shit. Uh, I bought a, a Kiro Click, but I'm not going to show that because I got to show that to somebody when I whooped their ass with it. And uh, I bought Ricardo something, which I'm not going to show that. I'm just going to send it to him. You know, I don't want him to see what I got him. But um, that's everything I got today. Oh, the shirt, yeah. Booty cootie. But well, you can't really see it, but. Booty cootie. Yeah, they actually had Fruity Cootie on Blu-ray, the window price on it, but when I picked it up, it the CD inside was loose. I didn't want to fucking uh, chance it being scratched. He had uh, Dragon Ball Z Season 1 and Season 2 on Blu-ray, but um, I'm mean, that's just Blu-ray of the orange box. If it was Kai, it would be different. Yeah, I couldn't find a Yu Yu Hakusho Blu-ray. One dude had an entire fucking uh, booth of all anime porn. And he was sitting there like he's fucking gangster. He's like, yeah, I got animated titties. But and I was hoping I'd find an import of fucking Roni Ketch in the movie. And I can't find that bitch anywhere. But whatever. So day two, um, get this some um, get this all cleaned up. Get ready for day three tomorrow, and hopefully be able to pick out some more stuff. Get some like one or two dollar. There's a lot of people that sell like two dollar comics. And some of the stuff is in there I can actually use. So with my money being so low now, probably that's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, so uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, see you guys with another video tomorrow.